Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time once again back from Rome to get into the DC animated universe or the DC universe that's animated. People have corrected a lot about which thing it is. I don't even know. It's the DC it's animated movie universe. Decamu. Decamu. Rolls yeah. right off the tongue. Mm -hmm. It's what we're watching now. We are watching Constantine today, but which Constantine is it, John? Oh, it's, it's, I'm prepared. It's City of Demons. City Coy. of Demons. Have you seen it? I have not. That is the tradition of this show. Yeah. Not only do we call it a different acronym every time, but we figure it out in real time what we haven't watched. Very excited about it. Please do hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that comment, like, type when you're hitting, but let us know what you want to see next in that very comment bar. As you may have noticed, we're going willy-nilly to and fro in and out of the house of mystery as we dive into these movies. What's going to be next? Only Greg knows. Frankly, we don't. But if you'd like to be a patron and find out what it's like to watch all of it start to finish with every bit of our resting faces kept intact, join the Patreon. Without further ado, let's get into... Constantine, City of Demons. Ooh, I already like it. Oh, it's rated R. We got a little top left corner action. That's right. This is for men. Yeah. <laughs> and women. And a, yes, They're adults. Just a gross. Consenting adults. Oh shit. I mean, she's not driving. But the word Ooh. car is in the opening. <laughs> <laughs> Raven's car. Don't you forget it. That's when birds drive. How you doing, mate? Treating you good, are they? Spoke to Dr. Huntoon. He thinks you're making some progress. Before you know it, we'll be back in the road with a band. Yeah, Billy Idol. <laughs> Not the esoteric stuff you usually go for. Whoa. Cool. Ooh. Oh, oh. Johnny. Are we seeing into his origins or his present day? Johnny, what are you doing? You swore you were gonna stop. He looks younger. No more magic, right? Oh, Not all has a cost. That that was some beautiful magic. I can't let it happen again, Chaz. I can't let it happen ah. again! Whoa. I can't let it happen again! Uh, hey, ah. easy on him, Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> all right, mood set. I like how harrowing they all are. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Finally, the freeway. I was worried no one would drive. Hey, the we live there. The Walk of Fame. Hollywood. Queen of Angels. <laughs> last time I ever drink like that. Yeah, famous last word. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> it's like Evil Dead 2. He's still dreaming. Oh, yeah. I like they have little coats. Yeah. Your own inner demons given physical form. Demonium predator. But they're so good at exposition. <laughs> we learned so much from them. Magic just seems shitty. Uh, yeah, you, you really gotta be, like, in for the pain. <laughs> yeah, the cost. Open the bloody door, John! Chaz? Maybe this isn't a good time. <laughs> it's never a good time, mate. <laughs> he got red on you. <laughs> People were very mad we didn't know his accent. Uh, apparently it's Welsh. Oh, okay. The actor. Appreciate you guys looking out. Bro. In the past few years, I've been in a kind of dark place. I thought it was past it, John. After all this time. Oh. Is that his kid? Only decent thing I've been able to hold on to is my little girl. She's in a coma. Oh. Doctors haven't a clue what caused it or how to cure it. Possessed. But I spent enough time around you to smell the stink of dark magic. <laughs> I would love if this is one of those episodes of like a supernatural show where the twist is it was just people. He's still in the asylum. Yeah. <laughs> These bloody doctors can't do anything. Maybe he can. Five minutes. Not a second more. It's going to be like insidious. Just like go into the astral plane. He's going to get babadooked. <laughs> I like how ponderous this one is. It's very like pensive. Yeah. I'm John. Mind if I have a look at your aura? 
Do you do readings too? <laughs> Make a good side hustle. The hanging man. Let's have a look inside. Whoa. Cool. Whoa. Jeez, you bloody hell. Oh, she cursed all right. <laughs> oh. Chaz, Renee, I'm going to need a little more than five minutes. <laughs> Why? What are you up to, John? I'm calling in a specialist. She just barfed up a bunch of symbolism. Did you just see the bees? I want to have an MRI without the families of Oh, no. <laughs> Into the astral plane. Coloton Scottinio Therapeutic. Damn. Who you bringing in? I was right in the middle of a threesome with a dryad and a sylph. <laughs> Both of whom, I might add, are better in the sack than you ever were. <laughs> sure. It's not possession. Because there's nothing here to possess. Her soul? It's gone. Well, someone was there a minute ago. Let's find out who. She's been to the crossroads. <laughs> Help me! Whoa! Trish, where are you? In a cage, I think. Are you alone? Except when he comes. Who? The nasty man. Does he have a name? Pazuzu. I have many names. Cool. Whoa. If you want answers, John Constantine, you'll have to come by for a visit. <laughs> Where? Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> nice. Well, where are you going? Los Angeles, apparently. City of Demons. Ooh. Gonna go for a Lucifer crossover. Yeah. We're messing with deep, dark magic here, Chaz. Deeper than Newcastle. Oh. Why did you say that name? <laughs> the jump scares are great. Even if we can save Trish, you... Will. No pressure. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ten years. Do this. This is the you reunion to. you want. There's always a price to pay. No price is too high when it comes to my little girl. Tell me that after you paid it, mate. <laughs> An animated movie taking the time to show the luggage coming off is like... I yeah. like the pacing of this a lot because it feels like a film. You think it's a trap? That's just LA. He was with John in Newcastle. It was years before Chaz finally told me. Tell me. I can't. I just. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a request. Whoa. Thought bubbles. Mind grapes. <laughs> they were inseparable, John and Chaz. I think it was the music more than anything that bonded them. <laughs> had to learn to play. Had to form a band. Chaz is Ringo. <laughs> the Casanova Club was run by a twisted named Alex Logue. Fancied himself a sorcerer. <laughs> Called magical convocations in the rooms under the club. Don't ask me what that means. I don't want to know. This is definitely some LA shit. <laughs> Chris Angel's learning. <laughs> to draw the dark magic down into the physical world. <laughs> His own child. Whoa. When John found out what was happening with the girl, he decided he was going to save Astra. Uh-oh. <laughs> and what better way to stop a devil like Alex Logue than by summoning a bigger one? <laughs> My cool. devil could beat up your devil. <laughs> Sweet. Good use of like CGI animated blend. Yeah. That was rad. Whoa. That was John's logic. Up to a point. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Damn, savage. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Oh, no. Wow. This is, pretty, this is pretty metal. Pretty, pretty intense. He never wove a binding spell around the demon, which means he couldn't control it. That guy was just up there playing bass alone. 
Sometimes you gotta play bass by yourself. From unleashing hell on earth. Oh! The Lita Gargoyle started real angry. Damn. Oh! Jeez! Whoa! Oh! It's a whole ass abattoir. Oh, that's so messed up. Wow. No. Oh, 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 oh dude. And that's how John ended up in Ravenscar. Wow. <laughs> like that was that was a lot. I need a breather. <laughs> a little bit of trauma. No. Oh. About Newcastle? I can't. I, I just. <laughs> if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, clever. Making me question every time someone's ever told me that. Now. They were. They were night nightmare nurse. Wonder who came first, night nurse or nightmare nurse? Marvel DC. You one for anagrams, Chaz? No. Enstrom. Move the letters around. Monster. Monster. Whoa. <laughs> I think we're expected. Enter freely and of your own free will. <laughs> I want to say that when I group my guests. <laughs> Enter freely and of your own free will. Yes. Ugh. Sounds like a 70s haunting movie. Ah. Yeah, the old, like, satanic panic era of horror. It's intense. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Damn! Whoa! The pool's not ready yet. <laughs> I've got to wait for the bodies to liquefy and dredge out the bone. <laughs> sure. Mr. Constantine, your reputation will proceed. I like his slippers. Nice slippers. What's this all about? I'll explain everything at the party. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Jesus. <laughs> oh. More Constantine movies, please. It is just so intense. Oh, yes. Wow. What a band. Not oh. just a bassist. Oh. oh, yeah. You got this. Damn, Man. dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It committed to the rating in this one. I know the exact moment the movie broke me. <laughs> Bats flying out of somebody's ass is a first. <laughs> Never thought I'd see it. That's a secret portal to the Batcave. <laughs> Batman multiverse. <laughs> oh, I love the live action mixed. Oh. Oh. Fuck screen. <laughs> <laughs> Scream intensifies. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Wow. <sighs> Two people in peril. Oh. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Unpleasant. See, when they say these things are rated R, I never expect them to go quite this, this. hard. <laughs> wow. Whoa! <laughs> you don't like the 1920s. Something a bit more contemporary, perhaps. Snyder Cut. <laughs> Is this hell? <laughs> My hell. You see, I've been visiting Los Angeles for years. <laughs> Everybody in this town sells their soul for a dream. It's Harvey Weinstein doing the work. Yeah, buddy. Oh, no. People here are so desperate, so enamored of illusion. Oh, yes. Not very happily. Star-Lord! Where's Adam Warlock? How hungry, delusional, egotistical, selfish. 
All the qualities we look for in candidates for damnation. Wow. A branch office of hell, right here. Like fast food, but with the added benefit of <laughs> eternal damnation. Oh, that's what's in the pink chicken paste. Mm. But I've got competition. Five other demons with similar aspirations. And I want that competition eliminated. I want that monopoly. The kingpin of demons. Where is she? Safe. Right here. You could say she's a prisoner of love. Ugh. Let her go, you bastard! Let her go! If what Farood's saying is true, then any attack on him is an attack on your daughter. But we don't know if it's true, do we? There's all the more reason to not proceed. Oh. He isn't dead. <laughs> Just uh, displaced. Uh, uh. <laughs> See the observatory? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Go visit Chaz later. <laughs> Keep your bloody air on, Chaz. I'm coming. What? Yeah, I'm driving. Ooh. So what? Nice. Not, not, not the best. Is the whole town possessed? Is there a radius oh. around him? Yeah, is it like something like hopping into different people wherever Constantine goes? That's the first factual error. There are no signs that they 30 minute parking. It'll say 17 <laughs> different things, and you gotta <laughs> figure it out on your own and get a ticket. This yeah. is LA. Yeah. I want my little girl. And if anyone can get her back, it's you. Tell that to Astrolog. Huh, huh. We follow Mr. Blobby's orders, kill his enemies, and kiss his fat. Oh, yeah. Demon dogs! Hounds of hell. These are just the coyotes. You just don't hike up at night. This yeah. is what happens. <laughs> yeah. He is driving a Prius. This is real footage of me on Mulholland Drive. <laughs> One of Baru's competitors, no doubt, wants to stop me before I stop them. Well, can't you just... I don't know, match oh. you know, Who the hell do you think I am? Benedict Bloody Cumberbatch. Hey. <laughs> are you a Cumberbitch, Constantine? Oh, show. Come on, little Prius. Prius. Prius ain't gonna do much. Oh. Hope they got the coverage. Come on. Whoa. Cool. Final Fantasy character. Damn, dude. Whoa. Uber like, driver, professional, <laughs> yeah. five stars. Really? And I'm supposed to trust you because... Because if you don't, you're going to die. Now get in the car, John. <laughs> Definitely in L.A. And how do you know my bloody name? Look, maneuvering the vehicle while controlling this body isn't easy for me. Dude, you got Chaz. Let Chaz drive. Oh, he can't drive sideways in a Mercedes <laughs> up a mountain. <laughs> Where the hell am I? <laughs> I wish Chaz was here. You still love him? Once you've shared your life with someone, that love never leaves. No matter how much you might want it to. Oh. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, oh, John. Yeah. <laughs> so gross. It's like Baron Harkonnen. He's such a good demon. How do I know that you really have her, eh? Oh, I suppose I can give you a little glimpse. Oh, <laughs> 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 a little Freddy Krueger. <laughs> It's like an amalgamation of so many different horror movies. It's all so gross and <laughs> yeah. moist. Gooey. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! <laughs> oh. Oh. You need times up! Oh. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Get you out! I swear we'll get you out! Damn. 
Oh, 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 the look on your face when I opened that portal and tossed little Astra in. Oh, it's the same team. There was still so much innocence left in her. No. Oh. Whoa. I told you back in London that I had many names. Ugh. Ugh. Nightmare Before Christmas suits off. <laughs> I'm getting closer to finding them, Chaz. Demons like those five leave a psychic residue like a slug leaves a trail of slime. No, you don't have to come out. <laughs> Just bought that. And there. <laughs> Guadalupe. I've never been to a bar with one of those bell things. I know. No, I want to. Feels like it's part of the I entrance experience. Guadalupe. I gotta go to Guadalupe's. <laughs> it's on me. Uh. <laughs> it's an L.A. bar, no, no smoking endorser. <laughs> a jerk off! <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Even a Guadalupe, some things don't fly. You got the bell. You'd be grateful. Catherine Hahn? <laughs> <laughs> this would be the perfect place to cross over, man. Dark magic. Nice to see you again, John. All of them. Hey. Queen of angels. The mayor. <laughs> My body is flesh and blood, stone and concrete, tree. Wowie. My mind is thick with ten times yes. ten million memories. <laughs> Radiant with the histories of all my people. Just bone in LA. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Took LA I am in you literally. A man. That's not on the tour. <laughs> You're not going on the right tour. That's true. I need your demons to fight these demons. We all use each other. You know that better than anyone. People talk to John Constantine the way they talk to John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Just so much exposition yeah. and sexiness. And constant use of the name. <laughs> That's why Keanu Reeves plays them both. John. I've been by LA, but never like that. <laughs> Miklantikutli, ancient Ooh. Aztec death god. <laughs> iPhone 16. <laughs> Damn. Yes. Aztec Empire died out. New gods rose and fell, but Miklantikutli is a stubborn that he just keeps hanging on. New gods. Miklantikutli, god of bones and of the grave mouth and of all that begins when the heart stops. Whoa. Thank you for letting me into your house. Jeez. Oh. Oh. You can like smell this movie. Yeah, I know. It's so dank and warm and it's icky. Acrid. Yeah. Putrid. I am reduced to feeding on the energy of the animals that die every day. Oh. And I am still a threat to someone like you. What prevents me from feeding on you, John Constantine? <laughs> Don't gobble me up until you've heard my offer. I am listening. <sighs> I've got a phone call to make. <laughs> classic. Hitting all those classic heartbeats. It's yeah. like really interesting. A little, a little gothic in here. Oi, careful. This shit's heavy. Christ. Who knew there was a black market in holy water? 
<laughs> Is this the thing that invited us? Yep. <laughs> Have you delivered Nagar to us? Oh, that. That was a lie. <laughs> Jeez. You five seek to usurp a land that's rightfully mine. I will stop you, consume you, body and soul. Gentrification's a problem in Los Angeles. <laughs> Build a high rise here, and I will reclaim it. You gotta let the locals have their spots. Oh! Merc in the heads of the five families. Woo. Getting stronger for it. One of them runs Disney and Warner Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Harvey Weinstein's running all of them. He's got to go back to prison. We are not dead yet. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Uh oh. They were more worthy adversaries. Oh. We had an agreement. And it's been fulfilled. Not my fault if they took you down with them. Please. Oh. Verda de consuma. Deja se no Deja que olvedo de consuma. Ooh. This is so cool. I know, I really right? like this. <laughs> I love this world. Well played, Constantine. Indeed, John. Ugh. Very well played. A trade by LA. But you told me you wanted them all gone. He stays and runs his little franchise, but limits his activity to an acceptable level. <laughs> There's no acceptable level where that's concerned. Damn. What about Trish? You have no idea how sorry I am. Ugh. She's still in here. Oh, he's gonna let him have it now. I was wrong before. Yeah. This is on you, John Constantine. This is all on you. Oh. As long as you work for me, the girl will stay alive. In a coma. What kind of life is that? Yeah, imprisoning some dank-ass demon heart. Ugh. I urge you to consider letting Trisha's body shut down naturally and to somehow... No! Ooh. I can reduce your pain. Make this decision easier for you. Oof. Woof. You think you can wave your magic wand and make the world a better place. But all you ever do is make it worse. It does seem like a... Curse. <laughs> yeah. Being involved, like as cool as all the magic is, they do a Would good job want. of making it like, Yeah. Know, the cost man. is way more than the. Another what? Another anything, love. You passed your limit. Time to go home. There's literally a bartender right there. <laughs> Closer. Well, that's more like it. <laughs> oh. John incarcerated. Uh, you're the last person I expected to see. Get up off your lazy ass and save my girl. <laughs> Where are you going? Visiting hours were over at... <gasps> Don't you worry about it, love. Uh, I won't. <laughs> Ooh. Magic. Magic is fun for everyone. <laughs> Is this the demon come award? I think so. Le mwen re mwen, joue trois amants. Oh. Cool. Damn. <laughs> oh. You've cut me off from my supply chain. Blocked my access to those slabs of comatose meat. <laughs> what do you want? And let's make this quick. 
I've got a meeting with a producer. <laughs> <laughs> My life rights. <laughs> Stories about a deluded loser from Merry England who comes to La La Land with a head stuffed full of dreams, only to have those dreams devoured by a charming, tap dancing demon. Oh. Ah. Ah. I mean, it was a very compelling pitch up until I that mean, point. I mean, very. I could see it. Premiaion Bautinois! You open a few doors between hell and Los Angeles. <laughs> Johnny's opening the rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wild. So, what's it gonna be, Nergi? <laughs> Nergi. Or you let the girl go. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Little demon Constantine's in jackets. I want them. I want them to be his official sidekicks. <laughs> Make these plushies, DC. <laughs> yep. I will have a little demon Constantine. Need about five competitors, right? Well, how about 500? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Can, can one of those Constantines get in there and save his heart? Ooh. Oh, kingpin on him. Damn you. Close the doorway. He embarrassed him in front of Vanessa. Twas yem na na nan men. We just got here. <laughs> what I'm going to do to sweet innocent little trish <laughs> but you said i lied the demon remember what you said about sacrificing anything for trish yes then god help you uh-oh renee get up what get up now oh dude No, Vecna. The biggest weapon we had against you was inside of you all along. Oh. Come on. The Cam Deva curse, Nergal. That's love you feel. Huh. And to a creature like you, that's a cancer. Damn. And I swear to you, I'll give her back to you. I've oh. already got her back, you twit. Uh huh. -huh. Not Trish. Astra. Set her free. Johnny! No! Redemption, John. John. Bugger off. Yeah. <laughs> this is redemption enough. I have no unfinished business. The viscera. The chunks. So many chunks. Oh. 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 <gasps> Trish, my baby. Not bad, con man. <laughs> 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 Kells. Welcome to Kells Diner, home of the Kells Diner. Can I take you over? <laughs> it was called the Camdeva Curse. I had to channel Renee and Trish's love for you into and through Nagao. Every last bit of it. It's gone, Jazz. Oh. What? Renee won't have any memory of you now. Oof. And Trish? Trish has never known her father. 
Oh, no. You miserable sack of shit! The proper response is thank you. John! What? <laughs> Aww. Renee and Trish, no matter how much they loved you, it wasn't enough, Chaz. So I had to throw in some extra juice to put the spell over the top. I had to throw in us. Aww. Oh, dude. The memory of those two kids who grew up together in the pool. Gone. Sorry. Your name. Oh. John Constantine. Well, it's a name I hope I never hear again. Ooh. I knew you could do it, John. Morgan Freeman? <laughs> Which is worse, I wonder. Being the one who doesn't remember or being the one who does. It's all bad. Yeah, damn. That's sad. You take good care of him. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Not really a fan of all the wizened. Thanks for the gesture, though. I'll see you later if you like. In a body that might please you a little more. <laughs> We've been there. No, thanks. I'm getting homesick. And if I'm gonna knock boots with the city, <laughs> I'd rather it was London, love. Uh, so trippy. <laughs> wild the drawings in the background are so la like the they're behind the hollywood highland center from that view and then this is like piece of the grove the iheart radio they're at mel's diner but kel's diner like so good slow down mate huh? bloody hell one of you actually made it out alive <laughs> wasn't easy i'll tell you that oh never is mate <laughs> so you're gonna take me back in right now i could use a little company Need my mini me <laughs> The little demon got to stay it out. Hey, all right. Insidious really was happening just across town. <laughs> okay. That was intense. Yeah, dude. Damn, I'm that was exhausted. A, <laughs> In a good way. But. Yeah, that was like something else, man. That's a whole Ooh. other genre and experience and like... Yeah, that was Madness. Oh, J.M. DeMatteis. So he's a, a really good comic book writer, uh, like an iconic comic book writer. Uh, oh, Matt Ryan. That's right. Yeah. I love that he just like wrote the hell out of this very intimidating. Laura Bailey. No crap. Hey. Uh, okay. I don't know anybody else. Emily what an incredible cast. Damn. Oh, and Kevin Michael Richardson, the old man. Was Damn. That was like, I'm exhausted too. That was a journey. Was that was one of the most visceral like experiences I've had in any animated film. It was like visceral and and like heavy metal and and yeah like strikingly for for these movies I usually assume when I hear like rated R it's gonna mean like okay there's like a couple they say the f word once yeah it's like it'll feel more like a PG thirteen live action movie where there's like a little bit of blood and like a little bit of swearing there's a but, butt but yeah yeah exactly some side boob but like this yeah. is like. They just went that hard. Was so intense. And it wouldn't have worked without that. Like, no. if you don't smell the frames, if you don't <laughs> feel all that, like, just feel the demon energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so gloppy. Like, uh, did you uh, did you ever see the Stranger Things uh, subtitles people were making fun of? It was like squelches and wetly. This yes. was real squelchy. Oh, yeah. Well, this was a squelchy squelch, time. Squelch intensifies. Man, we got squelched. I'm so tired, and it was so that so like Constantine is a character I love because it's so dark. Yeah, and uh, a lot of my favorite runs are actually recent. Like this guy Simon Spurrier writes the hell out of him. He writes some like uh, Guy Ritchie dialogue, but like with oh, that sure. darkness and yeah, demonicness. I absolutely, see I did not out. think that would translate to an animated. Like just because of my pacing, I usually think of animated as like gotta go fast. Yeah, and this was like I kept noticing how ponderous and like wonderfully atmospheric it was but it never got boring it was just so like lived in yeah that's the thing about i think you know in in the west in america mm -hmm. i think we're conditioned to look at animation as cartoons for for short attention spans first and foremost right. but yeah like i i do appreciate that even though these are aiming toward a wide demographic certainly this encompassing the youth like yeah it does have that sensibility that does beg your attention a little bit more and does you know Harken to movies in a slightly different way because it's it is a medium, a not thoughtful. a genre, and I like that. Sure, this yeah. is a great example of, of animation being a medium because that was not a 
animated genre film. That was a animated dark R hardcore sci-fi horror seventies like fucking satanic panic experience. Hundred percent. Man, that was intense. So I, I think not only was it like an incredibly atmospheric experience, but it also really puts you in the world of Constantine to the point where I want like more Justice League Dark worlds yeah. in this animated. Yeah, yeah. I really want to see Constantine in movies yeah. like properly. No, I, I mean, you know, I, I, I still have not seen the Keanu version. Oh, it's so good. But it's, the... not, it's not the comic, but it's great. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and there's the series too, which which uh, Matt Ryan does the voice, yeah, or does the the, the performance. Also. He is Constantine in the series, and uh, and that was what CW or whatever. Yeah, which so is interesting like, to see Berlanti on this animated film because I think it's the first Berlanti film, and Berlanti's all the live action stuff. Yeah, so I'm wondering yeah. how that crossover happened because those aren't was, R-rated. No, yeah, I was wondering if this is like wish fulfillment on on that <laughs> aspect because I know that as much as people love that show, yeah, you can't go as hard as no. they went here, obviously, and yeah, like I love. I don't know, like, obviously horror stuff very much appeals to me, but I love diving into this side of the world just because, like you said, it is so atmospheric and there is so much, like, there's a different dynamic than a lot of the other, you know, superheroes of varying stripes are Mm -hmm. supernatural to some extent. You know, there's a lot of that quality, but when you're dealing with demons and spirits and magic and voodoo, uh, yeah, there's just, like, a darkness of core and, like, an elemental quality that I think they ring really nicely here out of the proceedings. And I'm so glad no one else was in it. I was like, you know, sometimes they do yeah. that like opening scene ties into the universe thing. This was just Constantine. It didn't yeah, have so we to. Had Batman last time. Right. And like other people. Which was yeah, fun, but Justice a different leaders. tone. Like I liked the, the tie in team up element, but this was great because it just got to play in his world. Yeah. It would have been distracting. Yeah. Like I, I talk about the Batman all the time as yeah. I'm so glad Pattinson's his own thing. Yeah. This was nice to be its own thing. I didn't have to think about, you know, tie-ins and things. The only Easter eggs I was focused on was the L.A. stuff. Yeah, right? The like, Caruso <laughs> symbol. Like, did you notice the, uh, so the Grove, Angelinos, uh, the Grove and uh, the Americana are yep. owned by that billionaire asshole that tried to run for mayor. Yes. Uh, and the symbol of those two little things was in the background while they were eating at Kells. Uh, but it was okay. like slightly changed. I was like, little things like that that are only for LA people. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And I love, yeah, it's like I... I, I I feel like so much, so much of superheroish stuff or, or comic book cinema takes place in New York. <laughs> and yeah, I know, and I know that West there Coast are, Avenger style. I know that there are, yeah, like like other regional characters and stuff. But I am of, always City tickled. of Angels, the City of Demons was great. Yeah. I like that L. A. was a character in this and yeah. actor. <laughs> That whole thing was wild to me, and I love, and that's the kind of thing that I, I think is especially fun and cool in this pocket of this universe. Is yeah, you do have stuff where it is uh, like completely weird and 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 demented and kind of abstracted. Like that that feels like some kind of weird Neil Gaiman thing. Yeah, that happened. like the personification of a city, and like it was beautiful <laughs> exposition because it was like compassion like there was connection it was really interesting it was really good and, and like i'm somebody you know having grown up here and, and having talked to so many people who have moved here like i'm i'm sort of enamored with and fascinated by the spirit of this particular city because it, it's just the kind of place that is everything that is said about it it is so many things and so many experiences that you have to be here and you have to be here for a while to really know it and yeah. even then you never know it because everyone's got their own experience of it yeah. but having just left for two weeks or a week and a half and come back it's a really hard place to like quantify and it's so interesting to see it be a character yeah and 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 then in this story that has yeah you've got this angelic presence of the city but you also have just tons and tons of demons who could easily stand in for various treacherous figures in Mm -hmm. in actual reality and different like that's the other thing too is this is one of those ones where i'm like this isn't like beating me around the head and neck with some kind of allegorical concept. However, it's really easy to like transplant the map oh, of yeah. things happening onto real dynamics that take place every day. Well, in the a place trauma like of LA, like they lean into yeah. uh, like the demon being like, yeah, of course he's going to nest up here. Like, of course you're going to yeah. find people that are just giving everything away. And it, yeah. it's, Really a beautiful story at the end with uh, the sacrifice. Like, yeah. I really like that John Constantine gets nothing. He even had to sacrifice, like, an old friendship. Yeah. Constantine himself, there's a cost. Well, and that was painful and beautiful. No, totally. And I like that both of these movies have had elements of his past or people who he knows, mm-hmm. you know, and, and this one going even further. Yeah, now that you don't have... 
now that you don't need them necessarily to like help flesh him out as a character, I feel like in the first uh, uh, in, in uh, what was that Justice League Dark, you know, it's like you're kind of meeting other people involved with him, and they sort of flesh out who he is. But yeah, here it's it's nice to just have it within the family or within you know just his life, and then yeah, like really appropriate. I, I was I was. I like the double twist because it kind of lets you off in a in a in a still as tragic magic mm. kind of way where it's like Chaz goes off and he's none the wiser of John. He's none yeah. the wiser of uh, uh, of um, his family, his, his wife and daughter, and then they are none the wiser of him. And at first, I thought it was going to be that like only the two of them were going to be aware and they were going to be free, and that's yeah. that's the most heartbreaking. But this is yeah, like even sort of sadder. It's just like John's alone with this. Also, like how many people with mental health issues and drugs and addictions have that life in LA? Mm-hmm. Like I thought it was really beautiful. Yeah, it was like, like, like there we were people put all our love into you, but like you don't give anything back, it LA. Changes, sometimes yeah, and it changes you, and sometimes that love doesn't remain the same. Yeah. Even if you're not physically, you know, <laughs> inserting and, and using that energy, you know, literally. And the people like L.A., her, his self going and comforting the new Angelino who's lost and wandering the streets is very, very symbolic and yeah. very, you know, direct. I, I what a beautiful movie that was so harrowing. Yeah. Yeah, Man. And, that, and that whole montage about like I am everything that has happened here, like I, yeah, was that really, was stunning. Yeah, it was like it was well attenuated because also too like seeing all the Newcastle stuff. Like I like that. Yeah, you have your Londony elements, your your, your yeah. UK elements, and those are vivid. And then you come over here, and and you know there is a different, different vibe, a different pulse, a different energy. And then yeah, you've got little bits of like astral plane, like the stuff where they're cutting back and forth with what's the nurse, uh, the nightmare nurse. Yeah, which is which is an interesting take. I also I had an interesting thing where I I liked that he sacrificed his redemption, but also he was willing to sacrifice one life for the greater good. Uh, greater because good. because yeah. that's something that's like you don't usually deal with that with heroes. Yeah. Like it's always like we got to save every life, and like you know even one life matters. But like he had to do the trolley problem. Like yeah, you know the the totally. had to that girl's still in hell, but he saved everyone. Yeah, and like what a. Whew, yeah, right. And tying that in Newcastle and having that flashback, having those jump scares, making the jump scares actually legitimate, not just jump scares. Yeah. Like, this was a palm sweaty experience. Totally. Totally. Knees weak. Arms, arms heavy, heavy, man. I could go for some spaghetti, I but not f- red sauce, because I'm thinking about viscous membranes. Yeah, you'll you'll do an exorcist and vomit just, it all over man, the Just, man, that was so And that's the other thing, is just wet. so many, <laughs> so many wet, gooey horror movie vibes from, yeah, there's like a little bit of Evil Dead 2, a little bit of Exorcist, a little bit of like old gothic stuff. Yeah. A little bit of like heavy metal gore grindhouse shit thrown in lots of genre bending and all of it serving the story none of it felt extra none of it felt like it it was like of the world right yeah it's like you're like we're in a demon world of course you're gonna have like a a a pool made of liquefied body (laughs) and it's and it's that too it's it's so absurd james gunn yeah you hire robert eggers and you make a Constantine movie. Oh, you make it moist, fun. You make it viscous, and you make oh, it like the Northman meets the dude, lighthouse. Dude, fun. James a Gunn coy. makes Superman. James Gunn watches Eggers these reactions. Makes Constantine. James Gunn sticks around for the review. Oh, he's he's watching right now. He's watching right now. And Mangold it's makes amazing. Swamp Thing. You get your Matthew Vaughn authority. Sure. You get your uh, Muschietti Batman. Yeah. That's a universe. Yeah. James Gunn. You heard it here. I'm available to consult with at any time. (laughs) Since you're watching, we appreciate you. Uh, I loved this. I didn't mean to interrupt. It just came to me. It was it was a torrent. Totally, it's all good. And just all the all the lying and promising and backstabbing and 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 yeah, the peripheral magic. It's just yeah, it was like nicely, nicely like otherworldly and also nicely grounded. Yeah, Yeah. it was it was. And I'm glad. I I kind of thought the sequel, if this is a sequel. To what we met Constantine through, it would be about the house. And I kind of like that instead. It was like everything. Yeah. Yeah. That he calls up like all the other possible demons. So out cool. End, to be like, hey, I'm, I'm stepping back on your territory. And you had the Aztec guy. Like, there's so many things that happen. And it's a dense hour and a half, but it's also paced really ponderously. And I'm glad it didn't become like third act action. Like, it didn't do the, the superhero problem. Yeah. It didn't become like a punch em. Yeah. It stayed really, really dense. Man, I love that. That's gonna that's gonna be hard to put in the list. Yeah, when we rank another, these, we're gonna have a time. Top notcher. We're gonna have a time ranking these. Uh, well, we could go on for an hour and a half because it was a dense hour and a half. But that was a hell of an experience. I hope this one did well. I hope people enjoyed it. I loved this one. Constantine, City of Demons. Thank you. Let's give a patron Killer. of the day shout. 
Hopefully they're not, you know, someone that doesn't like blood and gorks. They'll never have seen this one. They won't know we shouted them out. But let us give some love. I feel like I, there's some go-tos that I always give love. I'm going to go with a different one because I don't want to seem like I pick favorites. Yep. Uh, know that I, I do, but I'm not going to hear uh, because that's that's the demon way. I'm going to go with a really cool name. It is Chris Womhoff. Yes. Uh, Chris. Ooh, this is a good one for this. It movie. feels right, right? Like yeah. I feel like Womhoff is a name that either is a demon hunter or someone that writes about demons. Like I feel like Womhoff is a book. I'd go into a library and I'd read down the spine. And I'd be like, all right, he transcribed the literature and translated into 17 archaic languages <laughs> without the Wimhoff. <laughs> Volume 13 we of would the not be able to. Yes. yes. We would not be able to summon the demon the to Wom-Hoff protect Hoff us. Scrolls. It's also kind of close to Wim Hof, like the Wim Hof yeah, method of breathing. totally. Which is maybe why I think it's I a, bet Chris a summoning power. A lot, yeah. I, uh, yeah, Chris seems like a, 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 a well-read. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, he's okay. a, he, is, he does the Lord's work out there. So I, feel I hope like he also f- follows Wim Hof and does definitely does. Does some good breathing. You can verify that. All right. Get on the Wim Hof method. Get on the, the ancient scriptures and save us from the demons. Frankly, we need you, Chris Wim Hof. We appreciate you. That is going to do it. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching this with us. That was an experience, man. This was so, so very good. Uh, let us know in the comments what you thought of City of Demons. If you're from L.A. and you saw any Easter eggs, let me know if I missed any. I want to know because that was really fun for me. Let me know in the comments what you want us to watch next. And where would you put this? Now, now that we're 17 in... Where would this rank on yours? We're going to keep going. We're going to find out what's next when we talk to Greg. But until then, same bad time, same bad channel. We're back at it. We'll see you soon. Much love. Bye, Reject Nation. Go with God. And Wim Hof.